What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel if we have not yet met. My name is Johnny Nitafan and obviously I'm not in my studio at all. I just moved um, all the way across the country. I'm now in New Mexico um, and uh, I just got asked this question from one of the uh, clients that I actually coach right now one-on-one -on -one. Um, and uh, he just asked me if I had to make 20,000 or if I if I had to make $10,000 profit right now what one would I be confident to be able to do it and then number two what would I do to be able to actually do that right now and I'm a hundred percent confident if I had um, a full 30 days that I could do that right now and here's what I would do here's my answer to him so a couple things the first thing is my I would make that my goal to do in one week so in seven days my goal would be how to make ten thousand dollars in one single week so um, kind of backtracking on everything that I know up until this point, here is exactly what I would do. So the first thing is I would start generating my own leads. I would turn ads on right away. And uh, I would start generating 30 to 40 brand new leads a day. The reason for that is because I know I could get leads anywhere between two to $6 a piece and be able to scale that like crazy. And right at about 30 leads a day, I would be maxed out and i would really just scale to the capacity that i needed to be able to um have like get to where i needed to go right and so to i, I would scale as i would scale the leads as much as i could do to be able to just be calling brand new leads all day every day so i'll turn ads on start them probably at about 150 dollars a day and i would scale up to probably 250 a day if i needed to but probably around 200 um, maybe like 215. The reason for that is because I actually, um, when I just started out about a year and a half ago, I got used to spending 1500 bucks a week. Like that was typical for me to be able to spend and I could stomach that. And so I understood the cash flow that I needed to be able to do to get that. And I'm super confident that I could do that again. And so I would start ads at about um, 150 a day and within about a week I would scale up to about 200 250 a day really the number doesn't matter it's more what is my capacity and how would I be able to scale to the capacity where I'm just dialing brand new leads all day now these leads I would do a simple form fill um, so I would do a uh, first name last name email phone number uh, city and state uh, date of birth as well. And uh, I would also ask beneficiary name. So I'd ask all that stuff on the uh, lead form. Then I'd send it to a uh, 15 to like a 15 question survey, right? Asking all those, verifying all those things, making sure that I get the right phone number, email, um, all those that stuff to it so I could actually contact them. But also I'd ask like um, their address, um, do they have a direct express card or a checking account? Uh, do they have any coverage currently? Are they looking for to add a little bit more, get a better rate, or just get their first policy? Um, I would ask. Uh, I would ask beneficiary again, and uh, I would ask like kind of how much coverage they're looking for. Now, on top of that, what I would do is um, I would send them to that. I would also send them to pre-booked appointments so I can get my schedule getting about 10 to 15 pre-booked appointments daily. So I have conversations I walk into. And the goal would be to present 10, like five to 10 presentations every single day. I'm super confident with the script that I have and um, the question-based framework that I use. I'm super confident that with all that combined with the, the leads coming in that don't fill out the forms, um, like the, the surveys or the, the appointments, I still could be um, closing those. And then on top of that, it would really help like gather, I would have all the information that I need. All I need to do is get these people on um, a call uh, and I would get literally all these different people that I have all this information from that I'm getting about five, like $5 leads or $3 leads, whatever it is. Um, I'm super confident that with that, I'd be able to get five to 10 presentations a day from there. And my acquisition costs probably about sub a hundred bucks, probably around 50 to $75 um, to be able to do that. And so that would allow me to literally probably make 10,000 that first week, but for sure within the, the first two weeks. Now, from here, I would also have Kixie to be able to call and, and dial um, like clockwork, right? And just like dial and, and literally probably um, on average right now, dials take me, it takes me about 30 to 40 dials, right around like 35, 38 dials 
um, to make a sale. So I would make, I would, my goal would be three policies per day and I would make um, at most probably about 120 dials per day, um, but probably around the 100 dial mark and I would close three deals a day from the 30, 30 to 40 leads that I'm, I'm getting consistently. Now, um, if I, if I figure out that 30 leads is kind of the max capacity I'm generating, I'm say for, um, $4 a piece and I'm spending 120 bucks on ads. Um, I would just stay there. I wouldn't scale more, uh, because I would just be at capacity and that would be pretty much going to waste. So with all that going on, what I would also do, um, is probably bring in an agent to be able to sit on zoom with and I would be dialing with them and all I would do is be calling them three like calling the the leads three times when they come in handing them over to that person and I would have them calling and I would do a 50 50 split with them uh, because at the end of the day their sales would be free to them it would also cover my ad spend and it would also um, allow me to train another agent pretty much for free I would just have to spend time with them but I would just train them uh, while I'm dialing. So I'd just be going throughout my day with them on Zoom with me so I can train them while I'm actually making money and making sales so they understand the schedule, they understand everything that they need to know to be able to do the same thing as me and I would make an override split 50-50 with them to be able to do that. So that would be another like kind of bonus and training that I would do um, with them live on Zoom. Um, but for me, single-handedly just to make $10,000 per month, um, selling over the phone, I would just do that and I would track every metric, right? I would be tracking uh, what, how much my leads were coming in at, what it costs for me to present, what it costs for me to close, like my acquisition costs, uh, how much um, dials uh, that I'm making per sale, what's my closing rate on the leads, uh, what's my presentation rate, cost per acquisition, lead costs, um, and I would track all those metrics and that would allow me to backtrack into the exact activity that I needed. So after three to five days, I would know exactly the what I need to do to be able to scale to the number I want to do. So say in that first week, I make $7,000 um, profit, right? So I get $8,000 probably de deposited in the account. I spent a thousand bucks on leads or on ads. Uh, and I would just backtrack into the numbers and say, okay, this allowed this activity I spent a thousand bucks to make 8,000 back into my account. What I would do from there is, okay, I'm getting an 8X. So if I wanna make $30,000 this month, what do I need to do? I need to backtrack into those numbers. So say there's three weeks left and I wanna make, I don't know, $8,000 more um, or 30,000 total for the, the next three weeks. Then uh, I would just backtrack into those numbers that would allow me like a one to eight times return on my investment. Um, another thing that I would do is, uh, so that's in terms of like, if I wanted to scale that, but just to make that $10,000 profit, um, that is exactly what I would do. So I'm curious what you guys think, uh, if you guys would do the same thing, if you guys would do some, anything differently, um, drop in the, uh, comments down below what you guys would do. Uh, if you had to start over and, or just starting out and you had to make $10,000 per month. I'm super curious to know, but that's that's what I do, would do, and uh, that's what I'm actually helping other agents do as well, is uh, training them uh, and coaching them on how to think like a business owner, and because the, the way that you make money in this industry as a life insurance agent is thinking like a business owner and th having a high level uh, view on the business itself, right? The marketing and the sales. So I coach agents on how to do that, um, but that's what I would do. And um, I've had other agents that have asked me that same question or that I've actually helped be able to backtrack into those numbers like uh, Chase being able to make $11,000 in his first 10 days working with me. We were able to backtrack these numbers to say, okay, for January, how do we make $20,000? Well, he needs to spend like less than $5,000 on ads to be able to get that based on his numbers. So track your data, track all the metrics that you need, right? Dials, contacts, appointments, uh, closing, uh, like presentations, closing percentage um, on leads and presentations, sales, average uh, AP per policy. I actually just made a video on that. So go check out my last video. But that's what I would do to be able to make 10000 If I had to make $10,000 right now, uh, that's exactly what I would do. So let me know in the comments if you guys 
would do that same thing or if you guys would change anything up um, or if you guys would what if you guys would change anything drop in the comments super curious to know what you guys would do if you had needed to make ten thousand dollars in the next 30 days and how you do that um, because the reality is you have a license to be able to print money and so these are these, this is just a fun question that I got so if you have other questions uh, like if I had to make twenty thousand dollars in thirty days, what I would do? Drop it in the comments below, uh, and I will make another video on how to do that. So hope you guys have a great twenty twenty four. Go out and crush it, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.